Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Erica, I make videos all about handbags, lifestyle, beauty, and decor. I would love to have you as part of this community. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and come visit with me twice a week. But without further ado guys, let's get into the video. Okay everyone, I am so excited to make this video. I say that every time because I'm so excited. I love making every video. I have so, so much fun with this channel. Seriously guys, this is just a small caveat way of saying thank you so much. We recently hit 700 subscribers and over now 700 and I just, I can't thank you all enough. Like this has just been a dream come true to bring to you something I love and I'm so passionate about and to share it with everyone and to have these conversations with you has just meant the entire world to me. So I'm just so excited to be here. I've had a great day. I hope you've had a great day and I am making one of my most favorite videos which is a what's in my bag video so let me get the bag for you the bag we are doing a what's in my bag for guys is the Dooney and Burke small Barlow bag in this beautiful yellow color that I just gravitated towards instantly I absolutely adore it and I can't wait to show you what's inside. So if you're new to my channel, I generally like to do a what's in my bag on bags I haven't carried for a very long time to kind of give you an idea of what they carry. Plus I'm nosy, I just really like to see what's in people's bags. So obviously I'm gonna show you what's in mine. And then a couple weeks later when I've carried the bag and I've familiarized with myself with it a little bit and I feel like I can properly give you a pros and a cons list for the bag is when I will do an in-depth review. So if you're interested in an in-depth review, again, subscribe please and then come back a couple weeks later and you will see the review of this bag. And then in between I obviously will have other videos as well. But the review on this bag is to come. So a really, really quick overview guys though is there is the Dooney and Burke emblem. It is again in a yellow patent leather. There are these two handles that you can kind of keep on the crook of your arm. And then it does also come with an adjustable, detachable crossbody strap. There's three pockets. There's one and it's kind of a small pocket, fits your hand. And the back side is an identical pocket. It's about the size of my hand, but they're pretty decent size. Like they fit a good amount and you'll see. And then you have this large interior compartment and that so fun red color that I absolutely love. Let's, let's just get into the bag for a while you're here. So we'll start with this front compartment right there. Inside I have my keys. This is the Amazon dupe of the Louis Vuitton key clay. And I love this little guy. You open it up and you have all the keys. I think I paid 12 or $13 for it. And it has just been my go-to like key. Like I don't carry a lanyard anymore. Like this is this is my keychain. I love it. Next in that pocket is new to me. I'm so excited. Is my resalvage Louis Vuitton like ID holder, and it has like a little like keychain. I picked this up from a woman who owns a small shop in one of my local areas. She does have an Instagram and I will link it down below. So if you are interested in anything like Louis Vuitton resalvaged and she does do like she'll work with you to design a piece that you're looking for. But these are from real Louis Vuittons that she like cuts out and she kind of creates something new. So I really love that. My work is building a new office and we are actually going to have like a key card entry. So I thought this would be a really fun you know, a little way to play up my key card. So again, if you're interested, this she has so many more products. I will link her Instagram down below. Go check her out. Okay, moving into the back pocket. So this little guy, and again, I don't know if I should do it. They're all like snap or closure. I have my Ray-Ban sunglasses. If you're not new here, you know I carry these. They're one of my like signature things that I carry. I love these. They're my favorite. I gifted them to myself last year for my birthday and they're my only sunglasses. And then I have my cell phone. And last but not least, I gotta have my caffeine fix. I have a Celsius packet in the flavor orange. You just pour this in your water. Then guys, we're gonna get into the large compartment. So this is also a snap closure. First thing I see is my little beauty pouch that I'm using right now. It is a pineapple. If you know me, you know that I love pineapples. This is not new to me. I used to use it for my camera, but I recently decided to use it as a beauty pouch. So, and it actually, works so well. So first thing I kind of see popping out are some feminine products. 
Then I see my Tide to Go pen, because you just never know. I've actually used this quite a bit lately. Then I have, it's like there's a sticker on it, first and foremost, we'll get that sticker off. But I have my Dr. Dan's Cordobalm chapstick. I have quite a few in here, I love this chapstick. I have a hair bobble. I love these for my hair, I think it just holds the best. Excedrin migraine, because I do have um, headaches sometimes, so that's just an emergency issue, just in case. I have e.l.f. concealer. This is new to me too. I had a pimple the other day that I wanted to cover up, so I ran to the store. And then I have my used all the time Little Mermaid Compact Mirror. I love this thing. It's been in like every once in my bag video I've ever created. I have a Sunbum SPF 30 sunscreen stick. A, another Dr. Dan's Cordobalm. I think I've talked a lot about this before. I love this stuff. I actually suffer from eczema on my lips and this stuff is a lifesaver. It's the most moisturizing chapstick ever. It's on Amazon. Please go check it out. I'll leave a link down below. That's how much I love it. Then we have tweezers. I always carry tweezers because I just feel like you never know when those weird hairs are going to come up and like it drives me crazy because when I have them, it's like I never have tweezers. So I learned to never not be without them. I always have tweezers. And lastly, the color that I'm wearing now, which is my MAC lipstick in the color Dubonnet. I don't know if I said that right, but I love this, this lipstick. It's my favorite. It's creamy. It's moisturizing and I feel like it never dries out and I absolutely just, I love this color on me. So it's one of my favorite favorite reds so that is all i carry in my little pineapple beauty pouch next i see my reusable bag so this one's kind of fun it zips and then you can actually take it out like so and it becomes like a pretty decent sized bag it's by levi's i actually got it at target it was on clearance for two dollars and i am one of those people like i go into all the and constantly forget to have my my bag so I'm going to try to make a point especially in bags of size where I can carry it to carry it in this bag or any other bag that's around this size so when I do go into stores I can limit my use of plastic and especially in stores like Aldi where you have to pay for the bags that is definitely where that will come into play then I see my La Roche Posay moisturizer. I love this stuff. Again, I have eczema, so I'm constantly moisturizing my face. That's the reason I carry this. Next, another staple in my purse is my vitamin container. I love, I actually forgot to take my vitamin stick. So this is my vitamin container. I purchased this also off of Amazon and I just feel like it keeps me so organized. I love it and it's just, it's actually kind of a cute, uh, vitamin holder in my opinion, which sometimes I don't think they're very fun. This in my opinion is fun. Next, I have my Queen Bee coin pouch. Not Beyonce, although she is a queen. This is Queen Anne Boleyn. I picked this up when I was in London and I am a huge, huge Tudor, like dynasty fan. I don't know if any of you love like British history. A door. So I had the trip of a lifetime and I was able to go to London and I was able to explore all those areas. Oh my god, it's just, it was the best trip I've ever taken. It was stuff I had been studying for fun since I was 12 come to life and oh, I just, I loved it. So I got, I definitely got, I picked up a few things when I was there, but this was one of them. I just absolutely loved it. And inside, guys, is just, you know, what you would expect to change. So, there's that. Next, a little snack. This is a Built Bar in the flavor Raspberry White Chocolate Cheesecake. I don't know if you guys have ever had these. I know a lot of YouTubers have been promoting them. I bought them because I was influenced and I'm not mad at them. They're actually like decent in terms of calories and like protein and sugar. They're odd that they taste kind of like marshmallow. -y. Like they have that kind of consistency. So if you've tried them, let me know if you like them. I'm still kind of on the fence. Like I don't love them, but they're not horrible either. Next, I have Icebreakers Wintergreen Mints for the obvious reason. And then I see my wallet. I'm still carrying my mini envelope wallet by Portland Leather Goods in the color Sunflower. I I just can't seem to switch out of this wallet. I love it so much. It's like the best size and it carries a ton. So that is still my wallet. And then going into these two pockets here, I have my Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the color Ice. 
I have been loving this stuff. It is absolutely amazing. I bought this like a month ago and I'm still enamored with it. Like I went out just and bought another one to make sure I'm never out of it. I love it that much. Another quick favorite or becoming a quick favorite is a Bath & Body Works lip gloss in the guava flavor scent. Yes. So it's made with coconut oil and I love this stuff. It's so good. So I sometimes don't really like Bath & Body Works lip stuff. I don't always get it, but this in my opinion is worth it. I really like it. Next is my perfume. It is the Idol Perfume by Lancome. I know I'm saying this wrong, but I love this perfume. It's fantastic. I actually had gotten it in a sample and decided to buy this little size bottle. Um, I really, I really like it. I enjoy it a lot. It has kind of like a floral smell. I'm so bad at describing perfumes. I love it when people can accurately describe a smell. It's to me, it's very florally, but it's not overwhelming. Like I find it to be very nice. Although I know a few people who said they hated it. So to each their own. Next, I have this, this kitchen lemon hand cream from Bath and Body Works. I love these things. I'm rarely without them. I think they're so moisturizing. They don't feel sticky on your hands and I just love the way they smell. And again, for somebody with sensitive skin, and for me, it does not bother my hands. So I really love them and I just, I always pick them up when I'm at Bath and Body Works. And another Dr. Dan's core balm because yes. Next pocket, I have my Flint Roller. You've seen me talk a lot about this. I love my Flint Roller. It is a retractable lint roller. I am a dog mom. I have a Husky and a German Shepherd. They shed like mad. I love the color black and the two don't always mix. However, with this, I find that like, if I happen to get dog hair, if, if, it's a guarantee I get dog hair on myself, especially with darker colors, you can see it. And this has just made life so much easier, especially when you get to work and you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that there was so much dog hair on me. Um, this to the rescue every time. And even in my small bags, this still fits. And what's nice is when you're out of these papers, you literally can just restock on Amazon. So the body, the shell is something that you keep forever. And then you just replace the papers, which is what I really like. And then I have these lens cleaners for my glasses and my sunglasses. And I think that's it. That's a very deep pocket. And then lastly, there is a zipper compartment, guys. I have some assorted gift cards. I recently celebrated a birthday, so that's why I have gift cards. I generally do not. I have a Starbucks, a Chili's, a barbecue joint, so that's local for us, and then a Hobby Lobby gift card. So very excited to use those, specifically the Hobby Lobby. And then I have a photo clicker. I've talked about this before. It is my Bluetooth photo clicker. So I'm able to take pictures from afar because this Bluetooth into my phone and I can take this is generally what I use to take family pictures or thumbnails, so that's really nice. And the last thing I have in my bag, guys, is my AirPods right now. I do not have them in a case. I was gifted these for Christmas and have truly become one of my favorite headphones. I love these, and I, I, they're like a staple in my bag now. So I just wanted to give you a really quick view of the inside. So you see those two slip compartments on the side. You have another slip compartment here, and then you have the zipper compartment, and then it also has this little handy key attachment, which I don't use just because I have my case already. And the bag does have feet. My fiance recently says I said I have a foot fetish. Bag feet. Like I have a fetish with the feet on my bags because I love my bags to have feet. So I thought that was a really fun way, punny, punny way of saying it. Um, so really quickly on the outside guys, I have my little Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer and this super cute little turtle. How cute is he? I'm obsessed. And then I keep a mask that I just got from Target. So anyway. I cannot wait to do a review on this bag for you guys. I am just loving it. It's just so much fun. The color is what drew me. I saw it, had to have it. It was one of those bags that I just, I didn't think twice about. It was just something I knew I needed. I, I, I love yellow. It's one of my favorite colors. And I just, I, I felt it was so summery. It was so vibrant. I am from the Midwest right now and we recently just had snow, like accumulating snow in April. Last I checked it was April rain showers bring May flowers, but this time it's April snow 
snow showers. So recently this whole weather has reminded me more of winter than of summer and so this really kind of brought me into the spring summer mood which is what I needed and I just am a genuine yellow fan. I love yellow so it just it gave me all the vibes. I really adored it so again I cannot wait to do a review on it. If you have any questions about anything I keep in my bag that you'd like links to please let me know. I will do what I can to link it for you. But anyway guys remember life is short buy the bag. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye guys!